Hi guys, Rachel Cook, Doctor of Audiology at Modern Tinnitus, and in today's video I'll be answering the question, can tinnitus go away on its own? Coming up. If you have tinnitus, that annoying buzzing, humming, or ringing sound in your head, you may be wondering where it came from and when it's going to go away. Tinnitus has a whole bunch of causes and even more factors that can make it seem better or worse from day to day. Whether you've had tinnitus for years or even just a few days, you may find yourself asking the question, can tinnitus go away on its own? And that's the question that I plan to answer in today's video. But before I do that, if you could please give this video a thumbs up, it really helps bring videos like these to a wider audience. And if you have not yet already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with notification bell so that you never miss any one of our newly released videos. Now, the answer to the question, can tinnitus go away on its own is yes, depending on what is causing your tinnitus. One cause of tinnitus that can go away on its own is a temporary conductive hearing loss. Conductive hearing loss is a blockage in the outer or middle ear, preventing sounds from making it to the inner ear where they can then be heard. Hearing loss is one of the leading causes of tinnitus because when sound can't make it from your ears to your brain, your brain creates its own phantom sound to replace it. Some examples of conductive hearing losses include earwax buildup that blocks your entire ear canal or an ear infection where your middle ear space is filled with fluid. Changes in pressure can also cause a temporary conductive hearing loss until the pressure is equalized again, typically by getting your ears to pop. In each of these cases, the amount of sound making it to the cochlea, your hearing organ in the inner ear, is reduced, causing tinnitus. If your tinnitus is coming from one of these temporary causes of conductive hearing loss, it can definitely go away on its own once this is resolved. However, there are many conductive hearing loss conditions that cannot go away on their own unless corrected by things like medication or surgery, such as cholesteatomas or otosclerosis. Another cause of tinnitus that can go away on its own is tinnitus caused by ototoxic medications. Certain medications can be toxic to the delicate structures of your inner ear. Common ototoxic medications include non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, such as ibuprofen, naproxen, and aspirin. Other ototoxic medication groups are loop diuretics, high-dose antibiotics, chemotherapeutics, and even certain antidepressants. High doses of these medications can cause temporary tinnitus that can go away on its own after the medications are reduced or stopped. However, depending on the dose or the length of use, Temporary changes to tinnitus perception can definitely become permanent over time. So if you're concerned about your medications potentially causing your tinnitus, be sure to talk to your physician about alternatives. Another cause of tinnitus that can go away on its own is tinnitus from tension of the neck and jaw muscles. Increases in jaw and neck tension can be caused by head or neck injuries, TMJ disorder, poor posture, or even increased stress levels. This tension can contribute to changes in blood flow or nerve inflammation, both of which can cause or increase tinnitus. If your tension is increased for a short period of time, then your tinnitus is very likely to go away on its own once your tension levels are back to normal. But if your neck and jaw tension stay high, then your tinnitus perception isn't really likely to go anywhere until you work on that. In this case, it may be worth consulting with a physical therapist or a massage therapist to discuss what your options are in addressing and reducing neck and jaw tension. And if you think that TMJ disorder is the source of your tinnitus, be sure to check out Dr. Cliff's video that can show you how to get rid of TMJ dysfunction. Another type of tinnitus that may go away on its own is tinnitus caused by loud noise exposure. One way to confirm that you were exposed to damaging levels of loud noise is reduced hearing or increased tinnitus that occurs shortly after that event. This is called temporary threshold shift, essentially an injury to your hearing organ that results in these negative impacts to your hearing and tinnitus, which is essentially an injury to your hearing organ, which results in these changes to your hearing and tinnitus. If you're lucky, your hearing will return to normal and your tinnitus will go away on its own after a short period of time, generally hours to days, and in some cases, weeks. 
If you're unlucky, however, your temporary threshold shift may turn into a permanent threshold shift. This means that it's unlikely that your tinnitus is going to go away on its own. So in order to avoid this, be sure to protect your hearing as much as you possibly can whenever you're around loud levels of noise. So yes, your tinnitus may actually go away on its own if the source of your tinnitus is also able to resolve on its own. However, if your tinnitus becomes more permanent, you will need to seek out professional help. Audiologists who specialize in tinnitus can complete diagnostic evaluations to try to uncover the cause of your tinnitus. They can also make treatment recommendations to try to reduce it. Contrary to popular belief, there are actually numerous treatment options and lifestyle modifications that can significantly reduce or even eliminate your tinnitus symptoms. For instance, you have tinnitus retraining therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, and a new form of treatment called bimodal neuromodulation using the linear tinnitus treatment device. But even with these forms of treatment, you also have several lifestyle considerations, including movement and exercise, sleep quantity and quality, as well as psychology and breath work that can impact your tinnitus perception. At the end of the day, whether your tinnitus is temporary and resolves on its own or permanent and requires treatment, you don't have to go the rest of your life bothered by that annoying ringing or buzzing sound. You just need to find out what's causing it and work with a professional to resolve it.